The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint and Okuma. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast. Fall show season keeps rolling on and uh, up this weekend we have the Springfield Sportsman Show at the Big E Fairgrounds. This three day event opens up this Friday at noon and runs through Sunday evening. There's a great list of both hunting and fishing seminars throughout the weekend, as well as two buildings filled with guides, captains, outfitters, and more. And uh, you can find the Fisherman Magazine at booth number 408, so be sure to stop by and say hello. We can take care of all of your subscription needs, brand new subscriptions, renewals, everything else. we got some great free gifts to go along with that. And then uh, next weekend, we have the third annual Blue Water Bash at the Quincy Marriott, hosted by the Goose Hummock Shop taking place on uh, Friday and Saturday, March 3rd and 4th. It's an awesome event for the offshore angler and includes seminars, rigging demos, vendors, Q&A sessions, and more. You just got to remember, be sure to get your tickets in advance for this can't-miss two-day event. We've got all the details on it posted at thefisherman.com. And then last up, the March issue of The Fisherman comes out this week, and whether you're gearing up for the spring run of bluefin, settling on a setting up a uh, more effective trolling spread for stripers, hunting down trophy trout and salmon in upstate New York, or plugging the beaches, the March edition of the Fisherman Magazine has you covered, so check it out. All right, moving on into the reports. Going to start off, as always, in Connecticut with the uh, warm, rather warm weather we saw over this past weekend. Unfortunately, most hard water anglers have all but given up now on seeing any more fishable ice for the season, at least locally. Now, this isn't to say we're out of the winter uh, by any means, but the time for making ice is all but gone. But you know what? Following this warming trend, I've actually already heard of a few guys who have begun to check the local herring runs for that first scout of the year. It's also likely that the local largemouth bass population where a herring run enters a lake is already on high alert as big bass are known to feast on those same spring herring as the stripers. And also for Connecticut, I'm actually here at River's End Tackle in Old Saybrook today. I was just meeting with Joe, talking about the uh, River's End Striper Surf Day that's coming up on, uh, let's see details, March 25th. Opens at 10 a.m. This is an awesome event. Uh, let's see, tackle reps we've got so far, North Bar, uh, Guppy, Tsunami, St. Croix, a bunch of others are going to be here. Steve McKenna is going to be on hand doing some uh, demos. Dennis Zambrata is going to be there. I just signed up to do one of the seminars as well for the weekend. I'm going to be talking about uh, fishing surf with uh, eels for striped bass. going to really talk about everything that there is to know about eeling the surf, all the different methods, how to use them, how to prepare them, how to carry them everything you're going to need to know to fish a live or dead eel in the surf. So hopefully you're going to come on out and see it. It's a great event. We have all the details posted at thefisherman.com. And moving on into Rhode Island. Well, ice, again, is about as easy to find in Rhode Island right now as it is in Connecticut. And I even heard from local surf angler Gil Bell, who generally hits the ice in the winter, but since he hasn't been able to find it, he's already begun poking around the surf to see if anyone is home. Now, I haven't gotten word on whether or not he found anything just yet, but I commend him for giving it a go. And uh, let's see, fishing-wise, Rhodey, we've also got the cod boats still heading out to Cox's and around Block Island, and they report pretty much the same as we've been seeing of late with decent results being had on the days when they can sail, but unfortunately there's far too many days being lost right now due to bad weather. But again, when that weather window does pop up, they've done quite well, so it's well worth the trip. And then last up in Massachusetts, still hearing some pretty good action on trout from the Cape on over to the mainland out to about the Worcester area, um, all in open water angling, no real ice whatsoever in that range. Uh, guys are doing well on live shiners, uh, spinners, uh, small swimmers, and so on. If you travel a bit more west out in well, uh, to western Mass or north uh, of the state, you can find some ice here and there, but it's still kind of spotty, so we've got to remember to be careful. All right, well, there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint and Okuma.